And we're here live at Sanford School in Hokesson, Delaware, here to see the matchup against the number one team in the state, Ursuline Raiders, versus our Sanford Warriors, as the teams come off the floor from their warm-ups, getting ready to uh, get the announcements and uh, take the court. As you already hear, the team's getting hyped. So tonight for Ursuline, we have starters, number one, Laura Huff, who is a senior playing guard. Number 12, Kaitlyn Camper, a forward, who is a sophomore. Number 25, Alyssa Irons, who is a guard, a sophomore. Number 31, Adriana Hahn, who's a guard, 11th grader. And number 34, Chrishell Gordy, who is a forward and a freshman. As you see the team coming out now. And now for our Warriors team, here you see senior number 10, Chantel Williams, who will be playing guard tonight for the Warriors. Sophomore number 21, Taylor, Taylor Samuels, playing a forward tonight. Allison Lewis, a senior, number 24, who will be playing forward tonight for the Warriors. Number 25, Kashana Austin, who will be playing uh, guard as well, who is a sophomore. And junior, number 32, Ayanna Dobson, also known as a lump, who will be playing point guard here tonight. And now we rise for our national anthem. Anthem will be sung by Asia the Shields. Learning, performing, growing, excelling.
Welcome to the Sanford News Network. And we're back as the teams take the court for the jump ball. As we are joined by Christopher Freakin now, who will be uh, another uh, analyst here tonight with me. As we go up for the jump. And Ursuline controls the tip. Adriana Hahn with the ball as she pushes it up. What a shot by Hahn and it rims out. Off of Ursuline, Sanford's ball. Officials tonight, Jim Mahoney, Mark Moser, and Walt O'Connor. Allison passes up a shot, uh, I'm sorry, Ayanna Thompson. Thompson guarded by Hahn. Gives it to Samuel, and that will be in. 4-2. And Han with the ball as she sets up the offense. Pass to the top of the key. Chantel Williams with the tip ball. As it goes out on Chantel. Our players to watch tonight will be Adriana Hahn, number 31 of Ursuline, and number 24, Allison Lewis of Sanford. Alice Passing to Hahn. Hahn guarded by Williams. As a shot from Hahn goes up, that's good from Hahn. Han with, the, Lewis. Han with the early bucket as Allison pushes it up the court. Lewis drives in with the Euro step and that's out. Number 34 with the rebound. Kishel Gordy gives it to number 25. Irons who gives it to Han. Han gives it into Gord Gordy. Out to Irons. That's out. Gordy gets a rebound. Gives it number one, Herf. Misses for three. Rebounded by Lewis. Lewis has it. Lewis dribbling down the court and gets it thrown away by number 25, Alyssa Irons, who gives it to Han, who dribbles down the court. Han with the ball at the top of the key as she takes her defender to the basket with the floater and it rims off to the right. Williams with the rebound. Gives it to Thompson, up, big pass to Lewis. Lewis into Kashana, who's there. Easy layup to Kashana. And the easy bucket there by Kashana, number 25. Chris is only a uh, sophomore, doing a great job landing off the glass there with some composure. I feel like that's what they're gonna have to do the whole game is uh, beat him on the speed part of the game, which we definitely um, definitely excel in when it comes to uh, close games. Yes, yes. Herf try to kick it in to Gordy. Could not get it. Knocked out of bounds. It's going to be Ursuline ball. Sanford not allowing the ball to be entered inside to the to uh, Ursuline's bigs. Han is going to pass it in. Intensity for the game is already great. Pass inside to Kaylin Campert. Herf three. Wow. Kashanik. There could be a foul. Don't. Don't know why there wasn't a foul. Foul, but it'll be a jump ball. Sanford gets it. So Ursuline comes into the game standing at six, at 14 and three, uh, undefeated in state play currently. And I think that's where they have us because we have one state loss against uh, St. E's, right? Yes, correct. Kashana up for two. That'll be an air ball. Han gets it and beats Allison Lewis. Allison's not getting back fast enough. Han for three. That's very short. Lewis going to bring it up. She's going by herself. She'll bring it to the hoop. And looking for the call. Does not get it. It'll be Sanford's ball. Good block there by Crashell Gordy. Crashell is a freshman showing her presence inside. Pass to Taylor. Pass into Samuels. Gives it out to Williams. Gives it to Thompson. Other side. 
Allison getting the post. And Thompson looking for a pass, gives it to Williams. Williams driving the lane. She'll won't get the call. Out of bounds on Sanford. The Raiders take control of the ball as we have an early sub. Number two, Courtney Wallace checks in for the Raiders as she pushes it up the floor. Good defense by Thompson. As the ball gets loose, that's going to be Sanford's ball as Ayanna Thompson gets the turnover, forces the turnover, sorry. Great defense there by Ayanna Thompson, also known as the Lump. Doing some great ball pressure on the younger defender, younger and smaller defender. As she put it up the floor, and they break the press. Lewis. Easy layup for Lewis. That's good for two. 6-2 is your score. Sanford leads with three minutes and 50 seconds left. As great. number 31 is going to bring it up the court. Great job by Lewis using the backboard there. Nice and soft off the glass. Picked there by Kaylin Camper. On all alone. Kicks it over to number 25 where she tries to go up to three and gets blocked by Allison Lewis. Great block there by Allison. Rejecting it, getting the crowd into it. Sending that into the first row in the stands. Good defense there by yeah, Allison. Look back two nights ago, she played her senior game here against Hudson and destroyed. Yeah, she, uh, she did a great had job. had that double-double. Yeah, had 23 points, nine rebounds, and nine assists. Almost got the triple-double. She was very impressive that night. Uh, hopefully she can get the same type of performance here. Yeah, the team will need it facing this hardcore team like that. Arslan, number 34, Michelle Gordy. Great, great pass there by, it'll be Raiders ball, but great pass there by Han finding the open Crushell Gordy, but Crushell not being able to use her left hand and finish it as Hedaya Tucker, number 33, comes in for number 21, Taylor Samuels. Hedaya, only a junior, she's a Han, long three, that's not good. Over the back foul on number 12, Kaylin Campert. Han seems to be off here early, usually the uh, top scorer for the Raiders, but not being able to knock down some early buckets for them as Raiders set up in a 2-2-1 press. Thompson kicks it to Lewis. Lewis going to bring it up the court. Finds Tucker, who will dribble in. Could have been a walk there, but she'll get the field goal anyway. Great move there by Hedaya Tucker with the drop step spin. Great move there by her, using the smaller defender. Hahn kicks it in number 10, Lindsey Russell. And was there a foul there? No, nah, off the uh, toe of one of the uh, Sanford defenders. Okay. It'll be Raiders ball underneath. Russell passes it into Han. You see Han holding the ball a lot. Uh, she's pretty fast, actually, as she's trying to get past Chantel Williams, who will get her first foul of the game. Hand check there on um, Chantel. They're doing a great job being in help defense, being able to help Chantel out with the great point guard from Ursuline and Adriana Hahn. Hahn. Hahn guarded by Allison Lewis as Carshell Gordy tries to set the pick. And an illegal screen there on the freshman Carshell. Looking good, looking good. Looks like a big game here for Crashell. Not ready for the uh, hype of it yet. Hopefully she'll be able to settle down as we have two subs. Uh, Kaylin Camper coming in for Crashell. Thompson's going to look to bring it up. Thompson. Half court press from Ursuline. Gives it to Williams who almost lost it. Lewis over... No, it's going to be thrown away by Laura Hurt. Risky pass there as Laura was all over Thompson. Good job by Laura being in the passing lane as, as the ball goes off Chantel's hand. Not a very smart play by Chantel trying to go for that ball. Should have let it go backcourt. Would have been easily Sanford's ball there. So if I understand, this game is number one versus number two. If we win this game, hypothetically, we become number one. Yes, yes. So it's a big game for both teams with the state seeding, possibly a uh, future championship games matchup as they probably won't be able to see each other in the champ until the championships in the state playoffs. 
Yeah. It's kind of funny, Urson, sister school with Sally's. And uh, we both have kind of the same relationship, girls and boys teams, with their uh, with the um, brother and sister school. As the pass goes into Tucker, but it's going away by Han. Han seems to be jacking a little bit early. Has, has close to 10 shots being shot already as she gets the finger roll there. Her shot's not going down for her, but getting easy layups inside. Yeah, Sanford's going to need to watch that uh, mid-range shot from Allison Lewis out. Sanford's going to need to watch the um, driving lane by Han and uh, teammates as uh, they progress through the game because right now they're leaving the uh, lane wide open for them. It's going to be bad news later. Been a pretty fast move in first quarter here as it's only 8-4. to four. Pass to the corner here for Ursuline. Ursuline to drive down left. With the and one there from number one, Love. Good finish from her through the contact as she cuts the lead to 8-6 to six and hopefully been able to knock down the uh, second part of the and one. As number two checks in. Courtney Wallace checks in for number 25, Nina Budashak. Budashak, excuse me. And her fears her second shot. Her and one is converted. 8 7 is your score, 46.3 seconds left. This is definitely the game everybody's been waiting for this whole week. Yes. Um, it's going to be a good one. If uh, you're just tuning in now, keep stay tuned. Um, as Han gets a steal, and she'll bring it to the rim easily. Nine, seven. Sanford Easy. is down by one. Easy bucket there from Han. With the pressure up top in the backcourt from Ursuline. Lewis. Not getting the calls today um, from the referees. Good move there by Lewis, not being able to get the foul call, but still will be Sanford's ball. Lewis and a Krishana Olsen, who almost goes out of bounds, but saved. Anaya Jones kicks it to Olsen. That's good from good Austin. Pa great pass there by Jones, finding her teammate as Han pushes up the floor and pulls it from deep and rims out, and that'll be the end of the first quarter here. As we have 10 to 9, Sanford Lee's been able to grab the lead at the end of the first. Very exciting game we have here on hands. It's a tight game right now. What do you think? What are you seeing here, Chris? There's lack of defense on both teams. Um, the scoring isn't high. We haven't been taking many shots. Um, Urson has. They've been driving the lane real well. Um, but let's check over here. I know it's low score, 10 9. Let's check who has most of the points. It looks like Adriana Han will. For Ursuline, you were right, uh, Han with six points. Uh, Lara Huff with the three, completing the and one. Uh, then we have Taylor Samuels with two for Sanford. Allison Lewis with two. Shona Alston with four. And Hadaya Tucker with two. So uh, as we look at the stat sheet, also just watching the game, Sanford's doing a much better job of spreading the ball around, getting all the players into it. As with Ursuline, Han's been taking most of the shots. Hasn't been knocking them down at, as of late. But Han is a great scorer. She'll probably be able to turn it on. Uh, she is now in a thousand point scorer as she is only a junior. Uh, has been playing since eighth grade. She scored her thousand points not too long ago. Yeah, let's hope she doesn't turn on though, as uh, we need this win uh, going yes. into the tournament. This is her last game, um, but uh, definitely looking forward to the second quarter, which is about to start now. Han is going to bring it up the court, also, guarded by Williams. Also to mention, our player focus tonight is senior Allison Lewis and junior Adriana Han. Allison's averaging 15.9 points per game here for Sanford this year as she has committed, as she has signed to Boston University. And a five second call on Han as she pulls the ball and doesn't uh, make a move. Ten nine to score. Kick into Lewis is gonna drive the lane. That's almost an easy layup, but she puts it back. And the put back there by Allison Lewis as uh, Han wasn't paying too much attention there, trying to get her teammates into it, and her own uh, man scored there. Her. 
can't go anywhere. That's and five seconds. Another five second call. Great on ball pressure there from Sanford. The guards uh, from Ursuline don't seem to be able to handle it right now. Struggling on um, passing the ball around. Great defense here by Sanford. Pass. Really, really good defense out of the uh, little huddle after the first quarter as Samuels goes up, misses a shot, but rebounded by Krishana Austin and almost lost it, but Williams has it. Pass it over to Austin. Williams. Thompson. Thompson drives a lane. There's a hook shot and hits all the backboard. Samuels gets it. Williams goes over to Lewis. Thompson. Thompson back to Lewis. Lewis picked screen by Krishana Austin. Austin. That is not good. Rebound by Samuels off the glass. Samuels with the bucket. Many chances there for Sanford. About four chances to score there. Something that Ursland should not be allowing as Sanford crashes the boards very well. And the end one there by number 25 from Ursuline. Alyssa and Irons with the three ball there and one for her. Wow. That's a big momentum changer right there. Good shot from Alyssa. Yeah, I, I saw the contact there. Um. Not a very smart play there from Allison uh, smacking Alyssa on her hand as she makes the free throw to add a four-point play as Ursuline looks to be in the press again. Thompson gives it into Samuels, who kicks it out to Williams. Williams for three. That is off. Samuels gets a rebound. Samuels Samuel with a rebound fell. again. Looks like we have a foul here. Great job by Samuels keep, to keep fighting, get her own rebound, even after she got her shot blocked and a foul on Chrishell Gordy. Number th the foul was on Chrishell Gordy, number 34 from Ursuline. Allison Lewis passes it into Austin. Austin. With a shot that's off, but Samuels gets a rebound, gives it Austin, and that's something that we de that we uh, definitely notice about Sanford. They do crash the boards hard, and Ursuline is not doing a great job rebounding right now. Sanford's averaging 23.6 rebounds per game on the year, crashing the boards hard, getting a lot of second chance opportunities early. Thompson guarding number one Herf. Austin guarding number 12, Caitlin Campert. Stolen away by Lewis, who will be fouled by number 34, Chriselle Gordy. Williams. And that will be Chriselle's. And that looks like it's Chriselle's third foul as she has to come out of the game, get into some foul trouble early. And there goes most of Ursuline's inside presence. Thompson calling the play. She's going to bring it past half court. Thompson getting the screen from Austin. Lewis gives it over to Austin. Gives it to Thompson. Goes for three. That is off. Rebounded by Han. Han will bring it up. Over to number 25. Back to number one, her. But it'll be knocked out of bounds by Lewis. Good ball awareness there for Lewis, knocking that pass out of bounds. As Urson takes it out. Gives it over to Han. Han gives it to Herf. Herf drives the lane, kicks it in number 12. That'll be good from Kaylin Campert. Kaylin with the nice bucket there. Kaylin's only a sophomore. She's another one that's been playing since she was an eighth grader. And the end won by Allison Lewis. Big time shot there from a big time player. And Lewis taking it to the tip. Very impressive. Very impressive. She took that all by herself. No passing needed. Lewis for second. The end one. Shot is good. That makes the score 19 to 14. Sanford leads by five. Austin's going to come out. Jones is going to come in. Allison is a 80% free throw shooter on the year. She's uh, very productive from the foul line. Knocks him down. Han has.
has it. Four minutes, 30 seconds left. Han's going to get the screen by her, but does not need it. She's going to put it up. That was kind of a weird layup. <laughs> Han has taken some very bad shots here early. She seems like she's getting tired out there, having to do most of the work here for Ursuline. Definitely Lewis. fatigued here. Gives it to Thompson. Back to Lewis. Lewis gives it to Thompson. Thompson gives it over to Williams. Williams and Lewis. And that'll be a walk by Lewis. There's something you don't see very much. Allison uh, turning it over. Han is definitely fatigued out there. Probably not going to see a sub for her as she is the team's leader and most effective player out there. Has some other people bringing up the ball now and they let her get, a, get somewhat of a break. Pick over to number five, Margaret Connolly, who loses it. Williams with the steal. Try to pass it over to Thompson, but number 25 steals it away. Alyssa Irons gets it to Han. Han driving the lane, passes it in to number 12, Campert, who loses it, but with a foul. Good look there by Han to the inside man here. Jones going to pick up her first steal. Hurt, sorry. Foul. Just a comment. Ursuline's coach is very vocal. He's uh, He uh, makes sure his girls know what they're doing. Also has had a lot of success. And a uh, five-second call there on the inbound on Kaelin Camper. We're unable to inbound the ball there. Faulkner is going to be in. Taylor Faulkner from Sanford. Thompson gives it up to Lewis. Lewis almost losing it, but it'll be a kickball off of Lewis's foot. Looked like the, the girl from uh, Ursuline kicked it first, but the referees they weren't able to see that as Krishana Austin checks in for number 23, Anaya Jones. referees and calls will not be changed as Thompson tried to get that one changed Han's going to bring it up the court taking her time trying to get that fatigue up because she's really tired as you can tell kick over to number five Connolly Connolly's going to dribble it up a little no almost turns it over there but going off the Sanford hands Number 12, Caitlin Camper. It's going to pass into Han. Han, three. Air ball from Han. Thompson with the recover. Thompson up to Lewis. And I'll be out of bounds. Sanford's ball still. Sanford not making too many smart passes right now. Hopefully they can slow it down and think a little more before they uh, make some of their decisions. And Thompson up on half court line. Gives it to Lewis, who almost gets it knocked out by Han. There's a good matchup right there, Lewis and Han. As Faulkner driving in. Really good post-up move, could not get it. Try to get her own rebound, and... That'll be it. Out of bounds on... And it'll be, it'll be Sanford's, Sanford's ball. ball. Faulkner with a good move, not able to finish it there, trying to take care of the... Uh, Smaller defender, not being able to come through there with the layup, but Sanford gets it back. Two minutes left here in this first half. Sanford leads 19-14. Uh, just a reminder, when we go into halftime, we'll do a little wrap-up of the first half. Then we will send it to a little break, where we'll join you later for the second half as Allison sinks two. Time out. Time out by Sanford as Allison Lewis knocks down the big shot. Let's look at the scoreboard over here with Ben Woodring. And we have Allison down for nine points. Allison's doing a great job of scoring the ball for Sanford. Krishana Austin also with six. 
And then looking over at Ursuline, Han has six points, but she is shooting 42% from the field currently. Han's been up, off off this game so far, seeing some unlikely air balls from her, something that uh, she usually doesn't do, and she happens to be 0 for 3 at the three-point line. As we see the crowd get into it a little bit, led by one of our teachers here, Jackie Pitts. So, so looking, um, looking right now, uh, we have um, we have the um, Adriana Hahn, who is our player focus. Uh, she's committed to play at Villanova University. She's only a junior, uh, but Sanford seems to be doing a good job of shutting her down and not letting her hurt them in this game. So if they can continue to do that, seem to be able to pull out the win here as they lead by seven at the two minute and ten seconds mark. Campert's going to bring it up. Campert, easy layup, but misses it anyway. Lewis gets the rebound. Lewis kicks it over to Austin. Austin driving the lane. And she'll be fouled, and it won't go in for one. Great move there by Austin. Seeing her defender playing her, playing her to the right, and she took that and went to the rack and got fouled. Ayana's going to take our first shot. Sorry, Krishana Austin. Austin can't convert on the one. She's going to have one more. As she gets a little advice from Coach Thompson. We have two uh, very successful coaches here today with uh, two very winning basketball programs. You usually see both teams at the Bob each year in the semifinals or championship games. It's Hurst. Hurst has it over in the corner. Hurst spin move. Tries to get past Olsen who gives it to Han. Han passes it out to Connolly who shoots a three. Could not go. Han gets the rebound. She'll kick it out to number 25. Alyssa Irons who knocks down the three and scores 22-17. Very close game. Alyssa Irons stepping up in the, in the place of Adriana Han who uh, Sanford's been guarding very hard. Almost knocked down the shot from Alston, who had the fadeaway shot. Herf gives it out to Irons, who streams gets knocked down. 20 Irons. 20. Irons with another big three, as I was saying, stepping up for the team here. Irons knocking down those two threes for Ursland, as the crowd is really loud from both sides. Allison Lewis kicks it over to Thompson. Thompson to Lewis. Lewis gives it to Thompson. Thompson gives it over to Lewis. Lewis driving the lane. Trying to get that foul. Does not get it. Alston tries to save it. Han looking really tired out there. Not being able to push it up the floor. Pass out to Kaylin Camper for the three. And Kaylin brooks it. So here with 15 seconds left, Sanford's probably going to hold it for the last shot. As Herf tries to get the ball, it will go out of bounds. Sanford ball, yes. 11.3 seconds left. Crowd is getting wild here in the first half. Ursland turning it around here quickly. It's Courtney Wallace going to check in for Han, who's going to go out for this first half. She played okay, not her best I've seen. Williams passes in to Lewis, who has 10 seconds left. She's going to give to Williams who shoots a three. That's and good from Williams. Big shot there by Williams as she hits the two there. And Herf is off to end our first half as we have Sanford 25, Ursuline 20. Great half we've seen from both teams here. Uh, very exciting, very uh, energetic. What do you, what you see here uh, first half wise, Chris? Definitely after the first quarter. Both teams stepped it up a notch um, as they're definitely playing with. They want this win for both teams. They want this win uh, because this is kind of a big game for both teams. This could be like uh, win or go home. In one, so in one way, they make it the seed that they want. Uh, both, both teams obviously want that first seed going into the tournament uh, starting next week, actually. And um, 
both coaches definitely screaming their heart out. <laughs> yeah, uh, it, it just seems like everybody's into it right now, crowds into it, the players' hearts are all, all out there, uh, everybody's playing hard, uh, coaches are coaching hard, uh, it's, so it's, it's a very exciting game we see right now, as it is both teams' last regular season game. Uh, this will be the last time Allison Lewis plays a home uh, plays a uh, regular season home game, same as uh, our other seniors here. And yeah, um, if you had to pick a key player, player of the half, who would it your vote to? Honestly, my player of the half is Alyssa Irons right now. She uh, she's really stepping up in the place of uh, Adriana Hahn. We uh, also. We also uh, took some uh, notes on both teams. We uh, we said that the role players are going to have to step up this game, and that's definitely what she's doing, knocking down some big threes for her team right now. Irons has nine points leading Ursuline. Uh, she's uh, she's just doing a great job, doing a great job. Hans kicking it out to her. She's knocking down the big shots. All right, and before we send it out to halftime break, um, we got to look at um, – Allison Lewis playing her last home game here at Sanford. How is she doing? Allison has nine points right now, so same as Irons. Uh, right now, she also has she also has uh, four rebounds for her team. Uh, Sanford's been hitting the glass very hard, especially in this first half, totaling out with 17 rebounds. Taylor uh, Taylor Faulkner and Taylor Samuels have uh, been big rebound contributors right now. So. Uh, Sanford's doing a great job, and uh, it'll be a very interesting second half. All right, let's take a four-minute break. We'll be back around four minutes. Stay tuned.
And we're back with one minute, 30 seconds left here at halftime. Uh, scores 25-20, Sanford leads Ursuline girls. Um, some key players of the first half would have to be Allison Lewis and Alyssa Irons. Irons closing out the half with two three-point shots as she has nine points. And uh, Adriana Hahn, if she wants to do better, the star player for Urson, uh, it's going to need to step it up. She's shooting only 429% or 42%. Um, hasn't hit one three yet. But she's taken a couple. Um, didn't come close. With the one minute left, uh, we're going to be joined by Trey Armstrong soon. <laughs> Wherever he is. All right, here he is. Thirty seconds left here at halftime. We're here with Trey Armstrong now. Yeah. So this this for the second half, I'm interested to see how Han will end up stepping up. If Irons will keep knocking down big shots and uh, how uh, Sanford will control the uh, tempo and uh, feed the inside and keep attacking. All right. Fifteen seconds left here at halftime. Teams are getting last words in, going to go back to the floor where we left off. Very good game so far. Yeah. Really looking forward to the second half. Yeah, hopefully we'll get as uh, good of a second half as we did first as exactly. Ursuline takes the court. So on, the, on, the, on the court, Chantel Williams, Kashana Austin, Taylor Samuels, Ayanna Thompson, and Allison Lewis. And that is your five Sanford starters along with the five Urson starters who will be on the court. Thompson's going to start it off. She's going to bring and give it to Allison Lewis. Who gives it to Samuels, who kicks it over to Thompson. Thompson by herself, guarded by number 12, hit from Camper. Dribble into Samuels, who could not get it. Herb gives it to Han. Han dribbling past Williams, who. Han knocks down the shot. And Han using the glass there to knock down an easy uh, jump shot. Thompson gives it over to Lewis. Lewis to Thompson. Thompson gives it to Williams. Williams back to Thompson. Over to Alston. Over to Thompson. Back to Williams. Williams to Lewis. Lewis into Samuels who drives in with a post up. That's good. And a good shot there by Taylor Samuels with the turnaround jump shot. Looked like uh, Ursuline switched to the 2-3 there as Sanford stays in the uh, man-to-man. Man-to-man. <laughs> as Han hits down that long three. Han knocking down her first three of the game. That was a deep one there showing her range. Hopefully uh, she doesn't get used to that as we hope she misses some more of those. Lewis in the corner gives it over to Alston who dribbles past number 25 but gets blocked by number 34. Michelle Gordy, Han up on top of the arc, trying to get past Williams, gives it over to Herf, who gives it to number 12, who takes a shot that is in for three. Kaylin Cambridge with the big three there, knocking it down. And now give Urson the lead, 28-27. Samuels gives it out to Williams, Williams takes a shot, adding to it from Williams. 30-28, Sanford leads. As a coach from Ursuline getting, getting too excited, possibly getting, po getting warned here by the officials getting too much into the game. And, and number 34 will go to the line, Michelle Gordy fouled by Taylor Samuels. Foul there by Taylor Samuels on the freshman Carchel Gordy. Gordy doing a great job as only a freshman. She's been uh, really stepping her game up. Actually, used to she used to play basketball with me as she played in a uh, boys league when she was younger. Gordy taking her first shot. That is off. As she lines up for her second shot. 
and oh, second shot knocks it down. Williams, full court press by Urson. Thompson has it in the backcourt, bring it past her. No, Hurst great defense against Thompson. Thompson trying to get by but cannot. Hurst kicks into Samuel. And that'll be a three second violation. Looks like Gordy's starting to figure out Sam, uh, Taylor Samuels moves as she figured out that Taylor is a right handed uh, basketball player. Han's going to bring it up. Score at 30 29. It's five minutes and 10 seconds left here in the third quarter. Han gets it by Williams. And she'll go down to the floor. Han and going. Stanford's ball. Han going in there a little out of control. That's why she wasn't able to get that call there. Lewis getting it by Han. Lewis triple team, but still gets the bucket. Lewis going through a triple team there. Impressive there by Allison. Han guarded by Williams. Williams. Williams gives it to Herf. Herf gives it to number 12. Campert who kicks it into Herf and, and Herf sells on the layup. A wide open layup there for her not being able to use her left hand. Thompson into Kashana into Taylor Samuels. Good pass. Taylor Samuels could not get it. There will be a turnover on Samuels. High knocking down the wide open three. Sanford cannot allow that as she ties up the game here. 32-32 at the four minute mark. Allison Lewis up on top. Number two is gonna come in. Courtney Wallace and also number five, Margaret Connolly. And a foul by number, looks like by number 12 for Ursula. Kaylin Campert. as Krishana Austin goes to the line. Ursuline has turned this game around, tying it up here in the third quarter. And Austin knocks down the first one from the free throw line. Krishana from the line, knocked out in first one. Here comes her second. That is good from Austin. Han up on the midline, passes it over to Connolly. Connolly passes it over to Wallace. Wallace gives it over to Han. Good, not get it there. It'll be out of bounds on Williams, so it's going to be Urson Ball. Ball out on the sideline for Ursuline as they set up in their inbounds play. Wallace. Drives the lane, kicks it out to number 12. Camper, three, that's not good, but we got it. Wallace, Wallace, who puts it in. Wallace with the big rebound and put back there for Ursuline. 34-34 with three minutes and 15 seconds left here in the second or third quarter. Samuels goes up. I saw contact there, did not get it. Krishana will go to the line though. Krishana looks like she's being, she's the X factor right now for Sanford getting a bunch of easy rebounds and uh, getting fouled and going to the chariot strike. Samuel's looking for the foul before that, but Krishana able to pick it up as Krishana hits her first one. Anaya Jones coming in the, coming to check in for Krishana as she is at the free throw line. And so Sabaya Tucker coming in for Taylor Samuels as Christian Alton also comes out. Nia Jones and Hadaya Tucker in. Three minutes and 11 seconds left here. Sanford leads by two, 36-34. Just a reminder, I'm Chris Freakin, senior at Sanford School. And I'm Trey Armstrong here as Adriana Hahn um, gets a little mixy there. Almost stripped by Thompson. A kick out to Connolly. Who shoots a three, does not go. Rebounded by Tucker. It'll be a jump ball. Olsen gets possession again. Not very smart there by Tucker, bringing the ball down to the smaller defender's size. 
she has to learn to keep that ball up to prevent the uh, smaller defender from That's taking Earth. it from her. As Ursuline's key player of the game comes in, Alyssa Irons, at number 12, gets a rebound. Irons has it on top of the arc where she probably feels most comfortable. Kicks it over to Wallace, gives it to Han. Han, three, does not go. Rebounded and given to Wallace for two. Great rebound there by Gordy and a good pass from her. Han is continuing to jack up some ill-advised threes, but stays in the game as her coach leaves her in there. As she is the best player on the team. Tucker, Tucker, drains it for two. That makes the score 38-36. Two minutes and ten seconds left here in the third quarter. Sean, it's a really tight game, really tight game. Chantel Williams doing a great job of frustrating Han a little bit. As Han doesn't finish on the layup there, but Gordy with the rebound and goes up strong, but cannot finish as Allison Lewis pushes up the floor and a kick ball by Han. Han is getting very tired out there as she reaches down and puts her hands on her knees. He seems to be getting frustrated by Chantel Williams. As Han comes out the game, not wanting to come out, but her coach seeing uh, seeing why she needs to as Allison brings up the ball. Allison midline. She pulls a pass. She's gonna give it to Austin. Austin gives it to Parker. Parker gives it to Thompson, gives it to Tucker. Back to Austin. Austin thinking about the shot does not go. Thompson gives it to Lewis. Lewis gets it over to Thompson. Thompson for three. Does not go. Rebounded by Tucker. Tucker gives it to Lewis who drives the lane. Wow. Great full work from Lewis as she gets two. Lewis with the uh, step there. Good move by Allison as she gets the bucket. Oh, give us get gets by Allison Lewis, gives it to number 34, could not get the uh, layup as Christiana Olsen has it on the other team. Traveling foul by Christiana Olsen. Christiana Olsen trying to make the move there with the spin move but being called for a walk. As Adriana Hahn checks back in as well as number Russell. Camper, it's going to pass it into Han. Looks like Han got the referees a call what she wanted there as she looked at the referee. <laughs> kind of looks like Allison was hitting Han there. I'm not sure if uh, Han can do that, taunting the referees a little bit. And Han gets by Lewis. Han going up for two. She'll be fouled by Lewis. Not good by Lewis. Uh, foul count on Lewis. Let's get a foul count on Lewis. Um, it looks like. As Han picks up her first free throw, that's good. It and looks like it's going to come out for Williams. Looks like that's Allison's second foul there. And she's out of the game. On. This is her second rebound. It'll be knocked out of bounds. No, it's oh. a mid jump ball. It's going to be Sanford. I am so surprised the referees did not see who touched that ball. It's obviously off of Ursuline, but it, it is a hard job. Didn't have the best view there. Thompson being cornered. Thompson gets out of the corner and looking for the foul by Han. Does so, not get it. I am so surprised foul wasn't called there as and the all foul is called on Hadaya Tucker. Yes, Hadaya Tucker pushing foul. Adriana Han not getting with called with any hand checks as she was asking for from the referees. Surprised by this, but they are doing a good job this game, keeping it under control as she pushes it up the floor with the floater, and that rims out. And it'll be a walking foul by Williams. Hey. 
travel. 3.9 seconds left here in the third quarter. 40-37, Sanford leads by three. As number 12, Kempert is going to bring it out. Kick ball by Hadai Tucker. It's going to go back out of bounds. Tucker not allowing anything to be inserted inside as she jumps up and down with the great defense. Lewis R and pulls it out. Parker guarding number 25, Irons. Almost get, letting her get that three out as Parker tried to stop that from getting to Han. Earth, five seconds left. Three from Camper does not go. And but she will get two foul shots as the teams will head over to the bench. Camper gets the potential gets of making this a 39-40 game. Campered at the free throw line, shooting two here. As Campered's at the line, her, uh, just want to mention, her mom used to be a court, a coach. Her mom used to be a coach for the uh, Ursuline Raiders, but she stepped down as for now. And second shot from Campert. It's good. So it makes it a 39-40 game here at the end of three. Let's talk about <laughs> this game so far. Well, we're getting what we wanted here, Chris. Uh, great game here from both teams. Um, Ursula and stepping up some as they get their fourth quarter chant going on and try to uh, pull out this victory. Seems like Sanford Spirits are down right now. They need to step it up a little bit or they're going to uh, let Ursula come back and get this W here. Uh, it'll be interesting who pulls it out. Um, both of our players to watch, Allison Lewis and uh, Adriana Hahn, are having a decent game. Hahn not as well as we usually see, as she's not making many of her shots, but it's fourth quarter. This is the time where big players step up. Yeah, it's, teams are coming back out on the court, eight minutes on the clock, after Sanford just took a yelling from Coach Thompson. They need to step it up a notch coming into the fourth. They're not playing like the usual Sanford team that we see. Uh, always crushing the teams they play. Um, but hey, it's this, one versus two, I guess. Yeah, this is not a team you expect to crush. You just hope to come out of here with a victory. As Camper almost loses the ball to Austin. Gives it to Han. Han. Gets it past Williams. Herf. Herf dribbles it in. Gave it to number 34, uh, Gordy, who gave it back to Herf. He took the shot, did not get it. And there'll be... Kalen Camper rims out there, but gets a rebound back and gets fouled. by Krishana Alston as Camper lines up for a one and one. And she took the two shots before we went into the fourth quarter. See if she can continue her free throw streak as she can put her team ahead by one. Let's see how she does her first shot. It's good. So 40-40 to score, seven minutes, 18 seconds left here in the fourth. Here comes her second shot. Maybe putting her team up by one. Second shot. It's good. From Camper, who's two for two. And Camper knocks Lewis. down the second one. And she'll be fouled. No, no shot there. Fouled by Adriana Hahn. And, and that is Adriana Hahn. That's Holland's first foul of the game. Williams gives it into Taylor. Gives it to uh, and kicks it into Taylor. Uh, Taylor Samuels. I'm sorry, who uh, picked up the N1 42-41 to score. Big Sanford time. Has a chance of putting it up by two. Big time shot there by Samuels being strong going through the contact from Carshell Gordy. As she rims out on the second one, not being able to complete the and one. 
rebounded by Gordy, who kicks it over to Han. Han's going to bring it up the court. Defended strongly against Williams. And out. That we have been seeing is Han has been able to beat Williams, but not be able to finish the play. So um, Williams has been doing really well on defending Han um, as a Han, like a runner. But with Han an has awful shot. shot. Han have a race to the end. The backcourt shot by Alston. Not good. And it'll be a push on number 25, I believe, Irons. Yes. And one of the players that we need to get in foul trouble. Eliminate that three-point shooter. Han, from, Han taking Han another awful shot. Just throwing it up there right now. She has to be smarter if she wants to help her team get this victory. And we also have four fouls on Crashell Gordy. So... If they can, and a five second call there by Ayana Thompson. As she gets a pass from her coach, knowing that that's not something usually you see from her. Hard. Han's going to bring it up the court, defended by Williams still. Han gives it to Herf, who gives it over to Irons. Irons gets it to Han. Good move by Han. Kicks it into Gordy. Gormis loses it. Irons for three. That's off. Thompson trying to fight for it. But it'll go out of bounds off of her hands. Han. Ball. Han with the sick move there and a good pass, but a little too high there for Gordy, even though she is very tall. Allison Lewis smart and pushes it up the floor against the tired Adriana Hahn as she gets double team and, and a foul by Chrysler Gordy and that will be her fifth as she is disqualified. As Not good as she is their big man for the game um, as they have to send in uh, I think number two uh, Courtney Wallace. And Gordy doing a great job this game, but she is disqualified. And a great pass by Allison Lewis to wow. Samuels, and she gets her own rebound back and finishes it strong. Great job by Samuels there. As Han's going to bring it up the court, she's in the backcourt still. 44-41 to score, five minutes and 25 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. With Wallace gives it over to Han. Han takes a three. That's good from Han. 44-44 to score. Knocked down there by Han. That's a big shot from her. Taking a smart one there. As Allison Lewis gets double team and presses, presses up the four. But cannot finish on the shot as it's tip out of bounds by Taylor Sanders. Maybe not, maybe not the pass that Han wanted to do to her. Uh, Allison Lewis wanted to do, so uh, definitely not something better to look for as Han hits up another three, does not get it. Rebounded by Williams. Han taking another bad shot there, but she does have 18 points right now. Good Great. move by Cassandra Austin. Great shot there by Austin with the jump stop landed off the glass. Good shot there by her as Han starts to try to take over here. Tries to go isolation here on him. Chantel Williams. Chantel with the great defense. Han kicked it over to number 12, who could not knock it down as her swipes it out of bounds as she tried to pass it to her other teammate. Williams is going to take it in. Whoever wins this game, Trey, oh, they're going to want vengeance. Uh, the other team's going to want vengeance come playoff time as looks like. Adriana Hahn picks up the foul. And Hahn with the foul there. Hahn looks very tired here uh, as Allison Lewis was very smart there. Great basketball play attacking her. Attacking her and taking her right to the rack. As she lines up. shot from Allison Lewis. That's good. 47-44. Allison is almost automatic from the free throw line. As we said earlier, she'd be coming into this game, she was an 80% free throw shooter. Very impressive. Good for two. 48-44. Sanford up by four here with a 30-second timeout by Sanford. Teams are in a huddle. 
So at the 4 minute and 11 seconds mark, we have a tight game here as Sanford leads by four in Hokesson, Delaware, as we have the number one and number two teams matching up here. Sanford comes into this game 18-1, and one, only suffering one blemish to St. Elizabeth's, who has their girls team actually in the stands right now watching this game. And Ursuline Raiders have three losses, none coming in state. All of their losses have been to some nationally ranked teams who are uh, pretty darn good. <laughs> uh, four minutes, 11 seconds left. The teams are back on the court. Um, next week is playoff week. I'll uh, start a playoff actually towards the end of the week as Sanford or er, Ursum passes in Bahan. Uh, we'll be covering those playoff games that I was just talking about, both boys and girls, all the way. Hopefully to the finals as Han pops up a three and it's rebounded by Herf. Han forcing up another shot. Barely hitting the rim there. Not even close on that shot. Not getting too much help as Chantel Williams is taking her out of the game. Iron Great rebound by and Lewis. Be a push and a foul, foul there. To get that ball back. As a roar from the bench over here at Urson. Oh, that last play I was noticing Adriana Hahn was camping in the backcourt uh, calling for the ball over and over again uh, not getting it she was not involved in that play at all yeah well Chantel Williams is doing a great job of tying her out uh, she looks winded out there right now so the Sanford looks like she's limping yeah Sanford Warriors basketball team they've been doing a good job of attacking her at the right times that is the Ursuline's best player and they uh, even though she has 18 points they've been doing a good job of taking her out of the game a little bit First shot from Allison Lewis, that's good. So she will get that one-on-one -on -one call and she'll be going for her second shot here. With three minutes, 40 seconds left. Second shot's getting knocked down, 50-44. Sanford looking to close Erson out strong. Williams guarding Han, Han pushing it up the court. It's by Williams. Nice move. Fantastic move there by Han. That was disgusting. Han had her defenders on skates and gave her a ball fake. And we have an offensive foul on Allison Lewis. With the push off there. Good defense there by Han. Han starting to step it up a little bit here for her team. As she has her team clear out and brings the ball down. She still is tired, but she's fighting through. That's the true, true champion right there. As Han pushes it up. Gets by Williams. That's off after the shot by Han. Austin gets the rebound. Gives it to Thompson. Two minutes, 55 seconds left. Gives it back to Austin. Austin's going to drive the lane. Oh, had an easy shot there. Did not get it. But Ooh. Samuels will go to the line for two. Wow. Austin there with the phenomenal move. Phenomenal move. Not being able to finish it. But great hustle by Taylor Samuels getting the rebound and putting it back up and getting fouled. Samuels at the line. We've seen some great moves here tonight, Chris. These girls can play. True. Off by Samuels for a shot. Here comes her second. And these, and between all these girls out here, they've seen a lot of uh, good basketball. They've uh, played in a lot of, a lot of championships. So, in expecting yeah. nothing less from them. 51-46 as Han pushes it up. Sanford leads. Han three. That was wow. Whoa. How did she think that? <laughs> Han with the big three. She is. She's phenomenal. She is phenomenal. Lewis on the side gives it to Thompson. As we play our last two minutes and 20 seconds here in the regular season, both teams fighting hard. Thompson has it beyond the three point line. Getting the screen from Krishana Alston, does not get it. Bench is getting loud. Stolen by number 12 or two. We'll bring it up. Wallace. It's good. That will tie the ball game up. 51-51 with 1 minute and 59 seconds left. Look like a traveling there by number two from Ursuline, but not being caught. 
have been able to finish the layup there. Very exciting game we have on our hands right now, Chris. Very exciting as we have 51-51 off. And a no call by the referees. And a block by Cristiano Austin. Great defense there from Austin as Hahn gets it back and is able to call a timeout. As uh, Thompson tripped herself up, stolen away from Hahn. 30 second timeout, 1 minute 36 seconds left. Han, Can this game get any better? This, this is a phenomenal game, Chris. We are really lucky to be here and uh, witness this great game. Uh, can't get any better than this. Playoff atmosphere, tons of fans here. This is great. This is really great. Both girls' teams fighting to the end. Uh, it, this is can't get better than this. The crowd also. This is the loudest I've heard the crowd all year. Yeah. Uh, besides Sally's game, of course. But here in the sports center here at Sanford School, loudest I've heard the crowd cheer. And uh, it's actually kind of cool uh, yeah. to have to scream over the crowd like this. So yeah. As Herf is going to pass it in, probably to Han, where she's held the ball probably 95% of the time today. Yeah, Han's seeming, seeming to limp there a little bit, so that's not a good sign for Ursuline. As Camber cannot finish with the layup. Rebound by and Austin. Austin. Who fights Austin. Rebound by Austin, Austin who fights for that Austin's rebound. going to bring it up. Great, Stanford. great Good timeout time. from ball. Coach as they were uh, struggling in the ball up there. And a 60-second timeout. Han is limping, folks. She is really struggling getting off the court right now. Not a good sign there from Ursuline. She's, she's really hurt. Sit down. It's so exciting. If you are not watch, if you are not here and you are watching this, this atmosphere is ridiculous. Phenomenal atmosphere, phenomenal players. These girls are really going at it. They're they're out here balling tonight, folks. The one thing we're noticing up here uh, in the mezzanine um, is Adriana's knee. She's been limping everywhere. She's limping to the foul line. She's limping down the court. Um, maybe <laughs> she's she's been playing the whole game. I think she's got a total of 20 seconds of rest. Yeah, 20 seconds. That's about it. But I just want to I just want to comment on her. She's a true she's a true fighter, a true champion. Fighting there for her team, still battling. And as our crowd gets into it a little bit with the Let's Go Sanford chair. Wow. Cheering wow. our girl back on the court. Let's Fans are into it. This is exciting. Great atmosphere here. Great basketball game. But once again with Han, she's a true champion and she's fighting. She Williams is fighting. Pass it into Lewis. Lewis almost losing it. Lewis driving the rim. Gets a foul. And, and one. And one there by Lewis. Great shot by her. Lewis with the phenomenal finish. Finishing through contact. This is why she was our player focus tonight here, folks. Coming up big when needed. Great shot by Allison Lewis, the senior, signing to Boston University as she lines up for her and one free throw. 53-51, and she extends the lead to 54-51 to three points as Holland pushes it up the floor. 54-51, not a better game you could ask for for the end of the season. As Han has it, crosses up Williams. Han kicks it over to number 12. Campert, Campert driving the lane, gives it over to Wallace. Han cannot get it. the ball. Gives it to Irons. And she Han. finally gets it. One minute left here in the fourth quarter. Han drives the ring and misses it. Lewis gets the rebound. Stolen away by Campert. Campert gives it to Wallace. Gives it back to Campert. Clock gives it to Han. For some reason, clock is stopped. Clock is stopped. And the clock goes out, folks. This is crazy. You cannot get a better game at a more crucial moment. And our clock stops working here at Stanford. Not good. With 50 seconds left. Had about 50 seconds left, and this is be coming ridiculous. up right around now. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we can get that. Here it comes. Here it goes. 34.3 seconds left. Up, 50, 50, and 50, the clock score. turns back on. Wow. Goodness. This is crazy. Whoa. The clock, at for uh, for Ursula's sake, clock couldn't have stopped at a better time. And there's. A timeout that Coach Thompson needed as he lost the ball there. Halftime, it's going to be Ursuline's ball. 34.3 seconds left. Ursuline down by three. 
Here comes the team back out. Han looking for that three-point shot, hopefully. And Ursuline trails by three right now. Big game here, folks. Number one versus number two. Student section is roaring. Everyone's standing up. Great game on hands. Great game on hands, folks. Here they come. Hurst is going to pass it in. Sanford wow. could go for a big steal here to close it out. That would be smart. No fouls here as Han gets the ball. Han. Han dribbling it up. Goes to two. It's good. Goes down by one with 25 seconds left. Allison Lewis. Fouling. They call him for the foul. Han doesn't want to do it. And she'll take the foul. And we have a foul with 16.2. Not a better person at the line right now in the whole in the whole sports center as Allison Lewis gets fouled. As I said earlier, Allison came into the game shooting 80%, has not missed a free throw here tonight, wow. and hopefully she can keep making hers Everybody's here. Everybody's being quiet. As she knocks down the first one, that gives him the lead by two. 16.2 seconds left. Crucial free throw coming up here as she can stretch the lead to three and prevent a three from beating Sanford here. As she knocks down it down. Third one. Allison, Allison Lewis. Lewis. Three. 15 seconds left. Han has the ball. She's going to dribble it down. Han takes a long three. That's off. Rebounded, but goes out of bounds with six seconds left. That's not good. Timeout by Ursuline. Wow. Everyone's heart just dropped on that three as Han pulls it from deep. Rolls in and out. Close wow. call there for Sanford. Let's check uh, Han's score. How many does she have? Let's see. Han right now. Han has 25, 25 points. 25 points. Bowser shooting percentage. 34. That's bad. <laughs> She's shooting a 33% right now, but, but still hey, keeping her keeping team, her in, team the in the game. Yeah, keeping her team in the game. As we have six seconds left as the coaches draw up plays, uh, our Sanford's defense comes out, and they uh, have to keep them from scoring the three ball. Big game right now as the student section is standing up. Crowd is roaring. A great game here. Just a great game. So she's taking 32 total shots. 18 threes, 18 threes, 14 twos. That is crazy. As At teams coming out, you can hear the adrenaline rushing in this gym. Ursuline coming out, six seconds left. Chris, I don't know about you, but I am so excited right now. This is such a great game. <laughs> All right. Number 12 is going to pass into Han. On, take that last shot. And it's off. Rebounded by Wallace. Wallace to three. And Sanford gets it. And the goal. Oh, God. From going on the court. To to the court. And the game is over. Sanford wow. Warriors getting wow. the win here. The Warriors getting the big W as they take down the number one seed. The number one team in the state, Ursuline, as these girls shake hands. Adriana Hahn with a phenomenal game, couldn't finish with 28 points, and that is our final score, 56 to 53 here as Ursuline falls to Sanford. Great game we had here, folks, as we come up to us up here in the mezzanine. All right. So, 56-53 is your score. Final. Um, last six seconds of the game. What's going through your mind? I, well, everyone in the gym knew who was taking that last second shot. That was a great shot by Adriana Hahn. Couldn't go in for it. We had a lot of close calls here. Adriana finished with 25 points. Uh, shot under shot under 35% from the field. Not her best shooting performance, but she did a great job keeping her team in the game and was a warrior out there and uh, kept fighting through uh, all the pain that she was going through and did a great job for her team tonight. Let's talk about um, key play. Let's play. Let's name that player of the game. 
I no. think we both know it. I, I pick Allison Lewis. Uh, Allison Lewis, she played a phenomenal game. Uh, n nothing new from her. She did a great job, was getting to the rack, led her team in points as she finished with 22. That's that's the way she wanted to follow up after the previous game. She had 23 points. Allison's just a phenomenal player. She also finished with, Allison finished with, as I look, seven rebounds. Just hit the boards well. Stanford had a total of 36 rebounds. They attacked the glass, went up strong through contact. Just did a great job tonight, Chris. And uh, Trey, that was the last game here played at home. 2014 season, 2013-2014 season in the book. Sanford's going to the playoff. Both teams, boys and girls, we are looking forward to that. Uh, um, exciting, exciting, Chris. That's all I can say. I don't, I don't have words for this game. Except it was remarkable. remarkable. I mean, yeah. we got we got what we wanted. The fans got what they came to see. It was just a great game from both teams tonight. Exactly. It's, that was one crazy finish here um, at Sanford School uh, up here in the Sports Center. Um, again, you are listening to media, uh, Sanford News Network. Trey Armstrong, Chris Friedkin. Final score: 56-53. We'd like to thank our cameraman, Ty, uh, Taiwan Harrell. Uh, Brian McClellan, um, Ben Woodring, our stack guy, Marcus uh, Whipple on producer. I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, in case you didn't know, it will be posted later for those who are tuning in live right now. A uh, great game from both teams, and uh, thank you again. And again, final score, 56-53. Allison Lewis gets our player of the game. Thank you for listening. This has been the Sanford News Network.